half of consumers say they'd rather get a gift of an experience than more stuff. Yeah, because you get to keep the memories. And American entrepreneurship is at an all-time high. Jane King is live at the NASDAQ with your Tuesday morning business report. Good morning, Jane. Hi, Ted Margaret, and good morning. Yes, last year was the country's best for entrepreneurship yet. That's going to a report produced by Babson College. And what's more, those numbers represent a narrowing of the gender gap between male and female entrepreneurs. Now, the 35 to 44-year-old age group was the most active in terms of business owners of all the groups that they studied. Well, the merger between SunTrust and BB&T Bank has been complete, creating the nation's sixth largest bank. They'll serve about 10 million households. The merged bank is now called Truist. Now, because the bank's coverage overlaps, this does imply that branch closures and layoffs could be possible. About 740 of the bank's more than 3,000 branches are located within two miles of each other. And a growing share of consumers considering swapping stuff for gifts that let recipients explore a new hobby or enjoy a night on the town. The Chicago Tribune reports businesses from cooking schools to theaters to scuba diving say they're benefiting from interest in the gifts of experiences, despite risks of giving presents that can be tough to return, not to mention challenging to wrap. Okay, stocks fell yesterday. Investors waiting on the latest Federal Reserve meeting. We've also got China trade talks. Those new tariffs set to go into effect Sunday. Ahead of all that, we're looking a bit lower for the open. Live in the NASDAQ, I'm Jane King. Back to you. All right. Thanks so much, Jane. We'll be checking Thank in you. with you tomorrow morning.